Today we are going to study how a couple of materials react to radiation. <laughs> hey now, keep the crazy in the box for at least the first minute, will ya? <clears throat> Sorry, got carried away. Uh-huh. Anyway, in today's experiment, we're going to study the effects of visible light radiation on two materials. Aluminum foil and black construction paper. Here is what we'll use. A piece of aluminum foil, a piece of black construction paper, two thermometers, a stapler, an incandescent lamp, and an incandescent lamp. Ours had a 75 watt bulb in it, but this works even better with a larger bulb, like an 100 watt bulb. To start, we let the thermometers assume room temperature, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, it's warm down here. Are you sure we can't crank up the AC anymore? Are you kidding? I'm freezing. You're freezing wearing jeans and a sweater on a 90 degree day. I think you're part iguana. Your point? Never mind. Next, Catherine wrapped the thermometers up, one in the foil and the other in the paper. Then she stapled them along the side so they would stay closed. See? The thermometers were so cold they needed blankets. And they look so cute! And she tells me to keep the crazy in the box? Next, we propped up the lamp so the light would shine onto the two thermometers. We left them like that for about 15 minutes. Now, we have to ask a few questions. Right, like, would the temperature on either thermometer change? If so, would that change be up or down? And finally, would the thermometers change by the same amount? What do you think, Catherine? Any thoughts? I definitely think that the thermometers will change, at least a little, and the change will be up. I don't see how shining a light on them would possibly drive the temperature down. What do you think? I agree. I, I think both will change, and both will go up. Since the aluminum foil is a metal, and metal conducts heat better than paper, I predict th that the foil-wrapped thermometer will go up higher than the paper-wrapped one. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. After 15 minutes, the foil-wrapped thermometer is reading 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And the paper-wrapped one? is reading nearly 80 degrees. What? I thought for sure the foil-wrapped one would be higher. I mean, metal conducts, doesn't it? It does, but in this case, I think something else is going on. I think the foil reflects more of the heat than the paper does. Or, more to the point, the paper, since it's black, absorbs more of the heat. All of that absorbed heat warms the thermometer more. Okay, I'll buy that. So by that logic, white paper shouldn't drive the temperature up as much as black paper, since it would reflect more of the heat than the black paper. And if you could somehow get black aluminum foil, maybe paint it, that should drive the temperature up more than regular foil. That will sound like good experiments for another day. I agree. Now can we turn the AC up? No! Just go stick your head in the freezer! Oh, good idea! I think I'll take a spoon with me and help myself to that, some of that Mackinac Island fudge ice cream while I'm at it. Don't you dare! That's my Mackinac Island fudge ice cream! <laughs>